This is the children's Sunday school lesson for March the 14th. This is the whole year that we've been doing them this way. Um, and this lesson is Maundy Thursday. Usually you don't have school on Maundy Thursday. It is the day before Good Friday. And this is the reason it's a special, special day. The um, Israelites, the Jews, always celebrate Passover when, you know, if you've been watching the Moses stories that we did, when they put the blood over the top and the sides of their house, and then the death angel didn't take anybody from their family. And they had this big feast in March, in March or whenever in the springtime. And the disciples came to Jesus and said, where should we have our big feast meal at? Well, where, where are we going to have the Passover feast? Where are we going to eat the lamb and the bitter herbs and commemorate what happened when the angel passed over the houses? And Jesus said, this is what you're going to do. He said, you're going to go into that city and you're going to see a man carrying a pitcher of water. And when you see him, you start following him. And when he gets back home again, ask him where the special room is for me to have this meal with my disciples. And he'll show you a large upper room that is already ready. So they walked into town. They looked for a man carrying a pitcher, found the man, followed the man to his house. And he showed him this beautiful upper room where they could have their meal. So they get the food already and it was time for the meal to begin. It was starting to get dark out. And everybody came into the room and they noticed there was no servant. There was nobody who was hosting it. Now, the servant should have been the person that got down on his knees and washed everyone's feet. Because when you eat a meal, you lay on the floor. They didn't have chairs. You lay on the floor in a big circle around the food. And so my head would be by your feet. And my feet would be like by someone else's head. And since they just wore sandals, if they had anything, and they would have walked on the streets and maybe walked in goat poop or who knows what, all kinds of mud, you wouldn't want to lay down on the floor to start eating without somebody washing your feet. And the disciples all looked to each other and they said, huh, Who's going to wash the feet? Well, I don't think it's going to be me. Who do you think it's going to be? And then Jesus went over in the corner where the big basin of water was. And he grabbed the towel and tied the towel around his waist. And then he poured the water in the basin. And he started to wash the disciples' feet one by one. And as he washed their feet, he dried them with the towel that he was wearing. He got as far as Peter, and Peter said, You're not going to wash my feet. And Jesus said, If I don't wash your feet, I don't have anything to do with you. And he says, Okay, then wash everything. Wash my head. Wash everything. And Jesus said, No, just your feet are dirty. And he washed everyone's feet. Then after he washed their feet, he went down and sat down, and he said, Do you understand what I did? He said, I am the master, I'm your Lord, and I have bowed myself down to be your servant. And it is important for you to do the same thing. It's important for you to get down on your knees and to wash someone else's feet and to be the servant of all. Because that's how you show love to each other. And in our church, we do wash each other's feet. We didn't get to do it. Last spring, and we didn't get to do it in the fall, but maybe this year we'll be able to do it. I don't know. It's a pretty special service. So after they washed the feet, then they were all able to lay down on the floor around the table, table, the food. And they got down there on the thing, and they probably played, prayed a blessing on the food. And then they were eating their lamb and eating their bitter herbs and all of the things that they were eating there. And... um. Jesus said, one of you is going to betray me. One of you is going to give me over to be killed. And around the table said, not me. Oh, is it me, Lord? Is it me, Lord? Oh, I hope it's not me. Is it me? Is it me? 
And then Jesus said to John, it's the one I give this piece of bread to. And he dipped that bread in the vinegar and gave it to Judas. And then I think at that point, Judas must have got up and left. It says he got up and left, but I'm not sure that it's that, that time period, but I think it was. So Judas went and left, and he went to betray Jesus to the chief priests so that they could have Jesus arrested, because that's what we're coming up towards, is crucifixion, right? Okay, so um, then towards the end of the meal, Jesus took a loaf of bread, but it wasn't a loaf of bread. It was flat bread, flat unleavened bread, and he took it, and he broke it, and he said, this is my body which is broken for you. Eat this. And so they passed the bread around and everybody ate a piece off of it. And then he said, took a cup of wine and he said, this wine is my blood, which is being offered for you. He took a drink and everybody around the table took a drink out of the same cup. And he said, unless you eat my body and drink my cup, you have no part in my kingdom. So they knew something very special was happening. And that's the communion service. That's what we do where we take bread and we eat the special bread that represents Jesus's body. And we drink the special juice that represents his blood. And Christians all around the world do that. And then he said, Let's go. Let's go out to the Garden of Gethsemane and do some praying. And as they were going out the door, he said to them, you know, you guys have been with me all this time and I love you very much. He said, but before morning, all of you are going to run away from me because it says in the Bible that the shepherd will be struck down and all the sheep will be scattered. So you be sure that's what's going to happen before morning. And Peter says, not me. I would never run away from you. Jesus, even if you died, I would not run away from you. And Jesus said, Peter, Satan has asked to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you. Before morning comes, before the rooster goes, cock -a -doo -doo -doo, two times, you're going to say three times that you don't even know who I am. You're going to disown me. Peter said, no, I wouldn't do it. I know I wouldn't do it. And Jesus said, yes, that's what's going to happen. And then they sang a hymn and they went out into the night. The memory verse is from 1 John 7. And I just took the last little part of it. It says, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Do it again. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. First John 1, 7. See, dear Father God, Monday Thursday is such a really important day because it is when you ate the last supper with your friends. It's really the last meal that you ate before you started eating again in heaven. It was such a special evening as you sat there and taught them how to love one another. As you explained how important it was to wash each other's feet as you gave them the special bread and the juice to say that your body was going to get broken for them and that your blood was going to get spilled for them. Help us, O oh Lord, to take it quite seriously. Thank you, O oh Lord, for these boys and girls that are watching. Help them, O oh Lord, to grow up to be believers who want to take communion, who want to wash each other's feet, who want to serve each other, because the love of Jesus shows them how to do that. In your name we pray. Amen.